What's up guys, Craig Leonard from RippedOut.com here. I wanted to film a short video for you to talk about muscle intensity. So uh, when, uh, when we think about intensity, we're usually talking about uh, how hard we're training at the gym, uh, how focused we are, and, and, uh, and things along those lines. But what I want to talk about is muscle intensity. So we're going to talk about the intensity that's actually placed on our muscle while we're training, how we can use that to maximize our growth and development over time and make sure we're getting the most for all of our hard work every week in the gym. So there's three techniques that I like to use uh, to make sure that my muscles are fully engaged and that I'm applying the maximum amount of intensity while I'm training. And the first one is resting for shorter periods in between sets. So a lot of people like to wait two, three minutes in between each set uh, in order to give their, their muscles and their, and their mind time to recover and be prepared for the next set. Well, the problem with that is it, it's too long. It, gives your muscles time to almost fully recover from the previous set so you don't get any of that carryover and intensity and muscle stimulation that you would if you rested for shorter periods. Um, so, so what you want to do is try to shoot for maybe 60 to 90 seconds in between sets, no, no more than that. Um, it can be hard to do that at first if you're not used to training uh, so quickly and with, with that kind of intensity. Your cardiovascular system might need to, to kind of catch up because it, it is a fast-paced way to train and uh, if you're not used to it, you'll, you'll get out of breath a little bit. Um, but just be intentional about continually reducing the amount of time that you're resting between sets. I don't recommend going any less than 60 seconds because at that point your, your muscles aren't recovering enough to really uh, be able to, to perform a decent number of reps for each subsequent set. So, um, but what you want to do is just reduce the amount, the amount of rest you're, you're taking in between each set and that'll, that'll increase the intensity on your muscles and you, and you will notice improvements in growth over time. Uh, the second method is continually increasing the number of reps that you're using uh, for each set. So let's say you're doing a ben the bench press and you, you're using 200 pounds and that's kind of the weight that, that you like to use. Um, you want to be intentional if you're not going to be increasing the weight you want to be intentional about increasing the number of reps you perform. So a good systematic approach that you can use is having a set number of, uh, of, of reps that you, that you like to shoot for, let's say five, and, uh, if, and you just continually shoot to go higher. A lot of guys, they go to the gym and they, they say, okay, I want to do 200 pounds for five reps on my bench press. That's what they shoot for. They hit five reps and they're done. They maybe could have pushed out seven, eight, nine, who knows. Uh, but they stop at five because that's that's just what they wanted to do. And when you do that, you're cheating your muscles out of some serious growth. So uh, you want to make sure that you're you're pushing your muscle to the limit, and essentially training to failure every time, every for every set you perform to make sure that you're you're uh, um, applying maximum intensity to your muscles. Uh, so so you want to be intentional about increasing the number of reps that you're performing. Um, and then the third method that you want that you want to apply is increasing the amount of weight that you're using. So and this, this method can actually be used uh, to complement the second method, uh, which is training with a higher number of reps. So when it comes to increasing the weight that we use, what I like to do is say, uh, if, I, if I have a target rep range of, of say five reps that I want to perform, uh, if at any time I can perform more than say eight reps, so I'll start with five, I'll, I'll say, okay, I want to I wanna shoot for five reps with, with a certain number of weight. And as I get stronger, I'm increasing the number of reps that I'm performing. But I don't want to get any higher than eight because if I go any higher than eight, I'm just going to get lactic acid build up. Lactic acid prevents muscle contractions and has been shown to, to prevent muscle growth. Uh, so you want to stay out of a, stay out of that kind of state whenever you can. So I'll, I'll have a maximum of eight. And so I'll continually use the same amount of weight from five reps all the way up to eight. Once I can do eight, I, up, I load the bar up with another, say, five, ten pounds. And, uh, and that'll drop me back down to, say, five or six reps. And I continually lift that weight as I get stronger until I hit eight reps. And then I add another five or ten pounds to the bar and continue with that progression. Um, and it keeps, keeps your muscles working. It, it keeps them confused. It doesn't allow them to adapt at any point in time. They're continually growing larger. You're forcing them to grow. And uh, over time, this leads to, to amazing results. And, and I can vouch for that in my in my own in my own uh, experience so uh, i hope that you found these three tips to be to be helpful uh i, I know they've they've been a great help to me uh, just in my own experimenting and figuring out what works and then th these three methods work so i hope you apply them i look forward to hearing about how they help you to uh, increase your muscle gains and uh again this is craig leonard from rippedout.com 
I'm adding new new content just about every day, so I encourage you to, to head over there and check it out. And uh, if you have any questions or, or, or comments about this video, feel free to drop me a note below. All right, thanks.